Hi, I'm Frank Cessna, host of Planet Forward, coming to you now from Providence, Rhode Island, where I'm attending a New England Regional Energy Conference and talking here today with Mark Spitzer. He's a commissioner with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Um, the oil spill that has focused the world in the Gulf and your job, which is about energy and energy regulation, right. what's the influence? What's, what does it mean for you? It's, it's a tragedy of great consequence and what I like to do is find a way out of the ruins of this tragedy to get some opportunities. Take, for example, one technology where there's a consensus, uh, hard to find consensus in Washington, D.C., but both Republicans and Democrats at the my agency, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, are committed to plug-in hybrids uh, as a means of achieving a reliable supply of energy, as a means of having a more efficient grid, uh, to avoid waste energy and the possibilities of electrifying the transportation sector of the U.S. economy to get gasoline equivalent in electricity at 60 cents a gallon to eliminate more than half of the carbon dioxide emissions uh, from our vehicle fleet and to end our dependence on foreign oil and end our dependence upon the dangerous production of oil are such laudable goals that maybe from the seeds of this disaster we can create opportunities. So you're making a direct connection from the Gulf oil spill to plug-in hybrids and what? Absolutely. Accelerating their development? I mean, what's the point the of it? The president has embarked upon a smart grid. And the, the president really deserves a lot of credit for causing Americans to think about energy. But you're saying that the spill could accelerate the 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 advent of the plug-in right. hybrid? And it, it's in fairness, it has already been going on but across the country. The technology is there. We only have the very well, first vehicles that are slowly being brought to market. The technology is ready. The regulatory environment is not. We don't have a regulatory environment that lets me take a plug-in uh, and get a revenue stream to pay for the cost of the battery when I plug in in Vienna, Virginia. I need to be able to take my car to Maryland, to District of Columbia, to uh, South Carolina, to Atlanta, Georgia, and back up the grid and receive, a, receive money. It's called the cash back car, and it pays for these expensive batteries. The battery technology is ready. The vehicles are ready. The grid is actually able to function with these. So what is it going to take to get us from A to B? And how what, fast do you think, even with this new urgency as a result, you say, of the spill, could we get something really significant happening out there. If we have the political will, I think in the next five years, we can take 20 million vehicles. I, I think this is low-hanging fruit. Well, 20 million? 20, 20 million vehicles. 20 million plug-ins? Plug-ins. In five years? Yes. How do you do that? Uh, the, the, the grid in the PJM interconnection, which is uh, the North Atlantic states, is ready right now for 20 million plug-ins. If we want 20 million plug-ins, we have to have 20 million people will, ready, willing, and able to buy cars. You, you really think that? You think this has to come from the bottom up, it not from to the top from the down? Up. This is not something the government says, we're going to do this and we're going to start electrifying? America is unique in that all great innovation in this country has come from the people rather than from the government. The government needs to get out of the way, and right now certain policies, both at the state and federal level, are in the way, are impeding our goal. Mark Spitzer, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, thanks. Thank you. So if you're interested in this ground up, people lead the way kind of thing, we'd very much like your thoughts, your ideas, your blogs, your comments to this video and your video itself at planetforward.org. We'll highlight the best videos, the best ideas, both online and on television. I'm Frank Cessno, your host at Planet Forward from the George Washington University here today in Providence, Rhode Island for a New England Energy Conference. Thanks very much. Have a good day.